Have you ever wondered how the exotic dragon fruit is harvested and processed? A tropical delight, the dragon fruit, or pitaya as it's also known, is rapidly becoming a sensation on the global culinary scene. Originating from the Americas, this vibrant fruit is now cultivated in various parts of the world thanks to its adaptability and unique appeal. The dragon fruit's striking appearance with its bright pink or yellow skin and speckled flesh is a feast for the eyes. But there's much more to this fruit than meets the eye. From its careful cultivation and intricate harvesting process to its transformation in factories into delightful products, the journey of the dragon fruit is one filled with fascination. Imagine sipping on a refreshing dragon fruit juice or munching on a packet of delectable dried snacks and knowing the journey this fruit has taken. Intriguing, isn't it? Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of dragon fruit harvesting and production. Dragon fruit cultivation is an art and science combined. This exotic fruit, also known as pitaya, is a product of a certain type of cactus species which hails from the Americas. With its vibrant scales and flamboyant flesh, the dragon fruit is truly a sight to behold, and its cultivation is no less fascinating. Dragon fruit thrives in a tropical and subtropical climate, where the temperatures typically range from 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. The plant loves sunlight, but it also appreciates a bit of shade. It's a bit of a sun worshipper, but not a sun glutton. You see, too much sun can cause the plant to sunburn, and nobody, not even a dragon fruit plant, likes a sunburn. As for soil, well-drained soil is ideal. The dragon fruit plant dislikes having wet feet, so to speak. It prefers a slightly acidic to neutral pH level, somewhere between 6 and 7. This ensures optimal nutrient absorption and promotes healthy plant growth. Cultivating dragon fruit is a meticulous process. Farmers plant the seeds or stem cuttings in a well-prepared bed, ensuring that the young plants have plenty of room to grow and flourish. They also provide a sturdy support for the climbing cactus to latch onto. Regular watering is crucial, but remember this plant is a cactus, so it's important not to overwater. Farmers monitor these plants closely, watching for signs of pests and diseases. With good care and attention, the plant will start bearing flowers in about six to eight months. These flowers, often called moonflowers, bloom at night and are pollinated by bats and moths. Then, after the flowers have been pollinated, the real magic begins. The flowers start to develop into fruits. Over the course of four to five weeks, these fruits grow and mature until they're ready to be picked. Once the dragon fruit is ripe and ready, it's time for the harvest to begin. The process of dragon fruit cultivation is a testament to the patience and diligence of those who grow these stunning fruits. Their hard work bears fruit, quite literally, in the form of this exotic, delicious treat. Harvesting dragon fruit is a process that requires precision and care. This vibrant tropical fruit, with its fiery exterior and luscious inner flesh, is a delicate commodity that demands a meticulous approach during harvest. The first step in this process is identifying when the dragon fruit, or pitaya as it is also known, is ripe and ready for harvest. The telltale signs of a ripe dragon fruit are its bright colour and slight give when gently squeezed. The skin of a ripe pitaya will be vibrant, ranging from a deep red to a radiant yellow, depending on the variety. When it comes to the fruit's firmness, it should yield slightly under gentle pressure, similar to a ripe avocado. Harvesting dragon fruit is a hands-on task, often carried out in the early morning or late evening to avoid the harsh heat of the day. Farmers, armed with sharp pruning shears, approach the task with great care to avoid damaging the fruit's skin. The shears are used to cut the fruit's stem, leaving a small portion attached to prevent the skin from splitting open. Each harvested dragon fruit is then carefully placed in a padded basket to prevent bruising during transportation. These baskets are designed to allow for air circulation, helping to keep the fruit fresh before it reaches its next destination. The harvested dragon fruits are then quickly transported to a sorting facility where they are categorized based on their size, color and overall quality. This process ensures that only the finest dragon fruits make their way to the market or into the production line for delicious products like pitaya juice and dried snacks. 
Harvesting dragon fruit is a labor of love, requiring careful attention to detail and a deep respect for the fruit. This meticulous process, from identifying ripeness to the actual harvest, ensures that every dragon fruit reaches its destination in the best possible condition, ready to be enjoyed by consumers worldwide. After a successful harvest, it's off to the factories for sorting and further processing. This is where the dragon fruit begins its transformation, from a tropical delight to an array of mouth-watering products that continue to captivate taste buds across the globe. At the factories, the harvested dragon fruits undergo a rigorous sorting and cleaning process. The sorting stage is not just about separating the good from the bad, but it's an art in itself. It's about categorizing fruits based on their size, color and overall quality. This process is crucial in ensuring that each dragon fruit that makes it to the market is of the highest standard. The fruits are first inspected for any visible defects. Those that are bruised, overripe or show signs of pest damage are immediately taken out of the line. The remaining fruits are then sorted by size. Larger fruits often fetch a higher price in the market, while the smaller ones, equally delicious, are usually destined for juice production or as ingredients in various culinary delights. Colour is another key criterion in the sorting process. Dragon fruits come in a range of hues, from vibrant pink to a more subdued white. The colour of the fruit is often indicative of its ripeness and flavour profile. Brighter coloured fruits are generally sweeter and are favoured for fresh consumption. The less vibrant ones, while not as sweet, are perfect for flavouring drinks or desserts where additional sweetness can be added. Once sorted, the fruits undergo a thorough cleaning. This step is crucial in ensuring that the fruits are free from dirt, pests and any residual pesticides. The cleaning process begins with a gentle rinse to remove surface dirt. This is followed by a more intensive wash, often with a mild, food-safe detergent to eliminate any stubborn grime or potential contaminants. The fruits are then rinsed again, this time with clean, purified water to ensure no detergent residues are left behind. After cleaning, the fruits are dried and inspected once more. If they pass this final quality check, they are then packed and prepared for their next journey, be it to the local market, a juice factory or your kitchen counter. Once cleaned and sorted, it's time for the dragon fruits to be transformed into various products. From the factory floors, dragon fruits are made into a variety of delightful products. Among the most popular are the refreshing dragon fruit juice and the tantalizing dried snacks. The process of making dragon fruit juice begins by first removing the skin, which, while beautiful, is not fit for consumption. Next, the fruit pulp, bearing its characteristic white or red hue, studded with tiny black seeds, is scooped out. This pulp is then put through a blender to create a smooth, thick mixture. Don't be fooled by its simplicity. This juice is a powerhouse of nutrients containing vitamin C, fiber and antioxidants. Now let's shift our focus to the creation of dried dragon fruit snacks. The first step in this process is to slice the fruit into thin pieces, ensuring each piece has an even thickness. These slices are then placed in a dehydrator, a special machine that removes all the water from the fruit. This dehydration process can take up to 12 hours, but the result is worth the wait. The dried dragon fruit slices are chewy, sweet and packed with fiber, making them a healthy and delicious snack option. What's truly remarkable about these products is how well they retain the dragon fruit's nutritional value. Despite undergoing extensive processing, the vitamin C, fiber and antioxidants remain largely intact. This means that whether you're sipping on a glass of dragon fruit juice or munching on dried dragon fruit slices, you're still reaping the health benefits of this superfruit. In addition to these, dragon fruits also lend their unique flavor and vivid colors to a range of other products, such as jams, jellies, sorbets, and even beauty products. So the next time you enjoy a dragon fruit product, remember the journey it took from the farm to your table. And there you have it, from cultivation to your table the journey of the dragon fruit. The dragon fruit's journey is indeed a fascinating one. From a vibrant bloom in a tropical orchard to the sweet, refreshing juice in your glass, the path of this distinctive fruit is marked with meticulous care and precision. It begins with the cultivation, where the dragon fruit is nurtured into growth under the watchful eyes of expert farmers. 
Then comes the harvesting, a process that requires a keen eye and a gentle hand to ensure that only the ripest fruits are picked. The journey continues with the sorting and cleaning, where advanced machines play a crucial role in maintaining quality and hygiene. The transformation of the dragon fruit doesn't stop there. It's then crafted into delightful products, such as invigorating juice and mouth-watering dried snacks. Each step is essential, contributing to the exquisite taste and quality of the final products we enjoy. So next time you enjoy a dragon fruit product, remember the meticulous process it takes to get it from the farm to your table.